Hello everyone, my name is Saura and welcome to the 7th Devlog of Mortal Glory 2, a turn-based gladiator roguelike. And let's get started right away. So in the last devlogs I added these different barrels into the game. In essence, inanimate object units that have an effect when they die in the game. So for example, explode or maybe knock back uh, the units surrounding them. They can also be pushed by the units. So this can lead to, into some fun tactical opportunities. For example, to push a knockback barrel next to your enemy, which in turn then knocks back the enemy maybe into a wall dealing damage or maybe into a position where you can actually target the unit or something fun like that. So yeah, regarding the barrels, I wanted to add them to the simple map editor I have in the game so far. So I dedicated one tile for each barrel type I currently have in the game, which will then get saved uh, along the rest of the map. And then when I load the map, then those tiles will get actually converted into like in-game objects that can be interacted with and hopefully with a bit more pleasing graphics also. And since randomness is also fun, I added one tile for a random barrel. And while testing this out, I had this annoying freezing bug, which got me all worried that, oh no, is there something horribly wrong with my lodging in the game. But luckily, no, I was just having too few of these like uh, damage text pop-ups that show up when you deal damage. So those ran out of my pool and then the game froze because of that. But yeah, that was luckily a simple fix. And here you can see the actual barrel destruction in action. And I haven't really combed through these <laughs> videos if the barrel logic actually functions exactly as it should with so many barrels but I hope so and also to know that the visuals are not finished so the barrels might stay on the screen a bit too long than they actually will so yeah that might also confuse it a bit but anyway I don't think I will have so many barrels on any given map so yeah I I'm quite happy how it works now then I also added this one tile that will signify a random spawning area for the barrels and probably some other object units later on also so for each tile there's like a certain chance maybe like 10 percent that it will spawn a barrel so I think that will create some fun like variation to the map so that for example, there's not always a barrel in a certain tile, but yeah, there's some variance to it also. Then it was time to move on to something else. And what I decided to work on next was improve the targeting in the game. And specifically in this case, add keyboard targeting to the game. So yeah, you can control the targeting with mouse, like click a target if you want to target that target. But then I also want to enable you to play with only the keyboard also. And continuing with targeting in Mortal Glory 2, I wanted to add some more complex targeting options for skills. One thing I, for example, want to do is to be able to target like any given tile on the map so even if there's no unit in it. And I know this <laughs> probably sounds very basic also, but yeah, in the first one, I didn't have that. That's something I also separately needed to add to this one. And the first skill I added that would utilize this type of targeting was the teleport skill. So basically choose any unoccupied tile on the map and your unit will get transported to that tile. And yeah, as said, very basic, but in order to implement this 
there was like many small things I need to account for like okay with mouse it's more simple like just check if the tile is like available if there's no wall in it if there's no unit in it but then with keyboard targeting I also need to account for like okay what if you press up and there's a wall there what do you do just jump over it what if there are two walls and yeah small things but still necessary playing around with the teleport was a lot of fun but I figured it might be a bit overpowered <laughs> maybe so I added this more restrained version of it which I called blink so the range is shorter and you also need a line of sight uh, to the cell you want to transport your unit into so yeah this one is also very fun to play around with and it's yeah it's really cool to have this more complex forms of targeting when compared to the first one so you can get more creative with the skills also then while working on teleport skill i got an idea for another cool type of skill uh, and the first version of that I call telekinesis. So the idea with that skill would be that uh, from range you can move a, an object or maybe even a unit to another tile. I mean, simple concept, right? But of course to implement that there were like uh, small things again that I need to do. Well, first of all the double targeting. So the first like confirming of the target just locks that tile in but doesn't do anything yet and then you need to pick like another tile maybe that also needs to be in line of sight or maybe not and then yeah then you can actually like perform the action that is needed and to spice up the skill a bit I also added this small damage element to it so when the transportation is completed then the transported object or unit will uh, suffer a small bit of damage so it combines nicely with the barrels currently they only have one HP so when you transport the barrel it will explode and yeah if for example it's a knockback barrel then it will explode after transport and then deal the knockback likely to your enemy or maybe you can even like knock back your own unit next to an enemy so it can like charge at the enemy quicker and yeah basically gives more options to the gameplay and ability to create like different new tactics and strategies for the units to utilize and then I also added a small animation to it to make it look a bit more pleasing already at this point I figured I have worked on the targeting enough for now I will probably get back to it later on but time to work on something else also and next I decided to work on the battle user interface a bit it's not very pretty currently but it is functional so it will show the skills the current unit has and also the items the current unit has and if one of the items also has a skill attached to it so for example a ring with a teleport skill yeah you can click the item and activate that skill then i also added the racial skill so what i'm envisioning is that each different race or species whatever you want to call them has this own unique skill that cannot be like acquired by any other means I will likely have to adjust the layout a bit later on but for now this will do and then going further I add the HP and mana bars also to the portrait and then I also added this turn tracker thing in the top of the screen so yeah you can see whose turn it is and then if a unit dies it will remove that uh, from the turn tracker 
I'm not quite sure yet if this is the way I want to go about it. In the first Mortal Glory it was a bit more simple since the uh, both teams only had four units so I could just show those all on the screen at the same time and there wasn't really like any turn tracker uh, it just told you whose turn it is next but nothing visual like in this one that I currently have on the screen but yeah in this sequel I'm envisioning that the teams could have more units than just four mainly the enemy team to have like more options for adding difficulty to the game and then I figured they might also be like this neutral units maybe a tiger, a snake or whatever kind of beast uh, that can attack either just you or maybe the enemy also so yeah I, I should be able to show those also on the screen like when they will act so I think I will need like this some kind of a visual bar that will show all the units but then if you have a lot of units it can get kind of difficult visually how to show that but yeah what I have now I think it will do just fine for now and then I just have to see about that later on how I can manage all the all the stuff going on and hey, that's actually everything I have for this devlog. I would love to hear what you think about all the stuff I showed you and if you have some ideas and comments and all the stuff, let me know in the comments below. Oh yeah, and as you can see, the background is a bit different. So yeah, real life update, we just moved recently. The previous place was temporary, so I'm hoping this background will be a bit more permanent and I still need to put something back there yeah as you can see there's still a moving box there in actuality we have almost unpacked everything but yeah I, I didn't have anything there so I just left one box there to fill the space kind of all right hey thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one